A 55-year-old New York man is facing charges, accused of threatening the life of Minnesota Congresswoman Elon Omar. The man was charged with threatening to assault and murder a United States official. Wow, I wonder where he was radicalized. Think about it. Omar wears a hijab. Is her adherence to this Islamic doctrine indicative of her adherence to Sharia law, which in itself is antithetical to the United States Constitution? I told you that you need to be afraid because they are coming for you. I think Islam hates us. Probably the same place as Caesar Sayak, right? Or the same place as Christopher Paul Hassan, the former Coast Guard member who drew up a hit list of prominent Democrats he wanted to murder, including Representative Omar. Now, I just wonder where that place could be. While conservatives have been spending most of their time addressing pressing topics like AOC's accent, I'm left pondering why people aren't discussing yet another threat being made against a prominent politician in the name of good old patriotism. According to police reports, Patrick Carlineo Jr., an avowed Trump supporter, was arrested Friday for calling Omar's office and delivering an anti-Muslim rant that included threatening to put a bullet in her head. He was tracked down and arrested, joining a seemingly growing list of people making prominent threats to political figures. Now here's the thing, while the right wing will scream about how this takes place on the left, also probably noting the gunman who shot Congressman Steve Scalise, but remember, context, as always, is our best friend as we remind those individuals that Bernie Sanders, who has never called for violence in any shape or form, swiftly and unequivocally condemned the incident. Donald Trump, however, who has continued to incite violence, decided to take to the stage and criticize Representative Omar some more. And this is the difference, right here. From the moment Rep Omar stepped into public office, she's been inundated with attacks, most of them personal, such as that from Fox News host Janine Pyro, who claimed her wearing a hijab was unconstitutional, to political figures posting vile Islamophobic images around the US State House in West Virginia, claiming that Representative Omar was somehow connected to 9-11. Because, hey, she's Muslim, right? That means she must have some ties somewhere. And then the President of the United States making the unsubstantiated claim that she doesn't like Israel because she addressed problems with APAC lobbyists. But then, when someone like this man in New York threatens the life of Representative Omar, those very same critics go deafeningly silent. Like it's unexpected. Like the rise in hate crimes and now countless instances of avid Trump supporters sending bombs or planning hit lists is not something that should make these people take pause over their rhetoric and maybe consider the fact that words matter. The agenda they push matters and has consequences. I mean, it is one thing to criticize policy positions, to disagree perhaps on the way she presented her opposing views towards Israel. But the attacks towards Rep Omar have been unabashed and personal, and that needs to be addressed. If those on the right claim their criticism of Representative Omar are strictly political, then fine, I'll wait for your statements condemning this terror threat then. Or maybe I'll wait for your statements regarding the posters plastered around the state capitol in West Virginia. Oh, okay, so what about your statement condemning Pyro's Islamophobic rhetoric? Oh, nothing on there either. Well, in fact, there was something said. Trump actually did comment on that, and I distinctly remember him supporting Pyro's statements. Because while the right wing want you to believe it's the both sides issue, it's really not, and it's not even close. And when someone commits an atrocity in the name of, say, Bernie Sanders, he condemns it in an instant, even though he shouldn't have to because pushing for Medicare for all isn't the same as inciting violence amongst the voter base. Those of us with brains who understood the dangerous rhetoric that was being circulated regarding Representative Omar warned about this, that before long, someone was going to act on this hatred. It just needs to stop. Disagree with her policy, not her personally. Before someone gets hurt, for more on this, come over to my Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell. We'd like to debate with you on there. You can support independent media right here. Never miss another breakdown video by ringing the bell below. You'll get notified whenever we publish something new. And don't forget to join TYT today. Download our TYT Plus app on your phone or head over to tyt.com slash join.